Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, January 27th, 2020, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Hey, you know, January's been a kind of a tough month for us. Uh, uh, normally, January is really big-time profits, and uh, we just really haven't seen any big days. Uh, but, we had a big day today, and it's kind of ironic because the Dow had its worst day in months today, um, officially closing down 454 points. You can see it's a huge gap down this morning, and uh, it tried to recover, but it really didn't recover much at all, down 454, and you might think under those circumstances we'd have a really bad day. Well, we had a fantastic day. First of all, we had gotten basically short the overall market with uh, positions in UVXY and TVIX, which are basically inverse the total market. So we were short this market coming into today but what was the big surprise to me and actually is accounting for the majority of our profits was we were holding a um, bio stock called INO which is um, Innovio uh, Pharmaceuticals and little did I know we bought it last Thursday this thing, they got a contract for um, developing a vaccine for the coronavirus, if you can believe that. So that stock just went crazy this morning on the open, uh, opened way up, was up actually it, over 30,000 at one point. Didn't close that well, but um, uh, at one point our total equity was very, not very long at all. But we, we were, our, I saw uh, our total equity top fifty thousand dollars at one point uh, briefly this morning. So hey, we haven't seen anything like that in quite a while. Uh, so it was just a really great day. We ended up, we closed out uh, over, thir oh, just shy of $14,000, but that was just getting out of some stuff, but we're carrying just short of $30,000 going into tomorrow, so, you know, we're like in the $45,000 range for our uh, profits uh, so far. And uh, so, as I say, just just fabulous. Uh, we got into four positions today, and actually, those are holdovers. Three of those are holdovers, uh, but we're positive in all of them. And as I say, just shy of thirty thousand dollars on those four positions. Let me show you three of the stocks. Uh, this first one is, uh, this is TVIX, which is Velocity Shares. As I said, this is basically a short position on the overall market. We had bought this midday on Friday. It had closed uh, somewhat profitable, but not greatly profitable. But then, of course, the Dow opens down 400 points plus this morning. This thing goes way, way up. It did curve around here and we actually stopped this out with profits there. But uh, we were stopped out with $12,000 in profits. And then it started moving the other way. And we almost immediately got back into the trade, which is a good thing because we have another $4,000 um, in profits. Uh, in open trade equity. So add those together, it's like a $16,000 uh, trade so far. 
So that that was great. We had another of the same uh, type of position of basically mirroring uh, TVIX. This is UVXY, which is pro shares, but it's the same type of deal, but not not kind of the smaller brother of TVIX. And we had we got into that middle of the day on Friday, just like we did. TBIX pops up here. We're stopped out here with um, $6,300 in profits there. And then we got re entered uh, in UVXY, just like we did the other one. And we're close up here and we have $1,500 in open trade equity in that. So we're holding both those positions, new positions, in those stocks going into tomorrow. And now I'll show you the, the monster trade. This is uh, INO, which is Innovio uh, Pharmaceuticals. And we had bought this on Thursday. Thursday, right here. Bad entry. I mean, it looked like we got the top of this spike right here. It immediately retra retraced. We were negative in it. Tried to rally and then failed and we actually were holding this at, at a loss on Thursday. But we got this nice gap on Friday and that was big enough to keep us in the trade. But I was kind of uncomfortable with it because it just kind of gradually sold off all day or but as I said in my tape on Friday you know this isn't a sell-off it's not a fill of gap thing it could still go up again to these highs well it did a whole lot better than that thanks to the coronavirus vaccine contract this thing just jumped way up here and up here right on the top we're up thirty thousand dollars in Anovio uh, Pharmaceuticals. It did pull back again, just like it pulled back each of these other days, but we're still holding $23,000 in open trade. And, um, you know, this is driven by news of the coronavirus, you know, what's happening with the coronavirus. And, I, one thing I can guarantee you, overnight, nobody's going to announce a cure for the coronavirus. So, um, I'm expecting this thing may go up some more uh, tomorrow. Uh, we will be getting it out of it tomorrow, but I think we might uh, make a little more money than this 23000 that we're holding right now. We'll just wait and see. So, great day, fantastic day, you know. This puts us really in the black for um, January, going into the end of the month. Makes me very happy. Anyway, this is Trader Bob signing off. See you tomorrow on Tuesday.